Okay, Miles, do you know where you're sitting? Can you sit right there? Okay, I'll sit right there. And you have your seat? Okay. All right, so this is a snowy day. And actually, we had a little tiny bit of snow today. Did you, did anybody see it? Oh, you did? You saw it? All right. So this is, I'll show you. The snowy day. Has anybody read this before? Oh, you have? Oh, good. Okay. So, one winter morning, Pete, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough just yet. So he made a smiling snowman. Have any of you made snowman? Yes, lots of you. And he made angels. So how many of you have made snow angels? I love to do that. Remember when you just go in the snow? He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. <laughs> then he went into his warm house. What do you think happened? Yep. <laughs> he told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there, and he felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together in the deep, deep snow. That's the end. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everybody. Thanks for coming and listening to me read and have the president hold the book. <laughs> it's my job. Yeah. <laughs> right.
Thank you. And to all your parents, be strong. We spend a lot of time in children's hospital with patients too. It's going to be okay. And you are so cute, little tyke. <laughs> oh, yeah, she she working it. Anyway, God well, bless you all. Well, thank you, uh, President Biden and Dr. Biden. It's just wonderful to have you back this year. Uh, as you know, this is the 80th year that the First Lady has visited our hospital. Last year, you brought a surprise guest, your husband, <laughs> Dr. Biden. I and, have a book holder. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, at the end of that, I asked President Biden to start a new tradition, and look, he did. Uh, so they're here together. So thank you. Uh, thank you for that. It, it's it's so important to all of our, our families, our kids, and our staff uh, because there have been a lot of challenges, but we just love the support that you and your team and uh, uh, being out here, but also all through the year to give us the things we need to take care of kids the best way possible. So thank you for that, and we look forward to seeing you next year. Oh, thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. Thank you.